Hello, I'm Freelander. Welcome to the Game Trove. Today we are taking a look at some of my recent buys in the last uh, 36 hours, and I just wanted to update you on why I made some of them and uh, why I'm excited about these projects. So this is Chumby Valley, just for starters. This is their Chumby Tuesday. Uh, just look up their YouTube, Chumby Valley. Uh, and the, the, the first point I want to make about it is this is the breeding uh, thing. These are placeholders, these numbers, 180,000, 180,000. Those are the CHMB token, which is on the Binance Smart Chain currently. And you need them in order to breed your Chumbi together. Chumbi have to follow a certain um, sorry here come on don't do this to me okay. to be combined together following the compatibility charts so when you're breeding chumbi together you have to follow certain charts so if you have one of these and one of these you're just going to get one uh, a normal tier uh, so that combined with you can only breed chumbi a certain amount of times gets more expensive to breed them and uh, people looking for specific traits and stuff their breeding system should be quite um, robust but my main point was you need the coin in order to breed to fix supply uh, so yeah it'll be uh, it'll be good for the price in my opinion not financial advice second reason is she just looks so happy uh, I don't know if you can tell you need to place it inside an incubator uh, for we do breed and get that pod in your inventory. Additionally, we have to Yeah, she just looks really happy. Process. Uh Once which is really good to see to on uh, from a founders uh during a bear market. Uh this far into a bear market. Uh one other thing I was going to mention is they're putting they're shading in a lot of the details on a lot of their stuff, so that tells me they're they're actually relatively close to launch in that regard, uh, at least for their farming and breeding uh, sections of the game. They're almost done with their new website. And yeah, uh, so as far as fundamentally, I think the game might even shift this fall. Not sure, but looking forward to that price-wise. This is the all-time price. Uh, I saw it spike up to here. This was during the token generation event when the supply was like really squeezed. The supply opened up uh, almost right away, uh, at least a good uh, chunk of their uh, 30 billion um, there. Then, uh, then there was a kind of a dead cat bounce. It wasn't really... Um, this was around staking. There was hype around staking, and so everybody bought uh, CHMB to stake it. But then the vesting schedule just wiped it out. This was including me. I, I had a decision. Uh, I could stake it. This actually doesn't show it, but it went up to 13 cents. I had an option to stake it for crazy high yield. Uh, I got about twice as many tokens out of it in six months, which was really, really juicy, except for the vesting schedule. Every, well, and uh, because the bear market hit, this was uh, January, 2022, and the game was a long way out. Uh, yeah, everybody just dumped it as soon as they got their tokens, and the price has flatlined. This actually is, Quite significant from here, it dropped another zero to where it is now. So it'd take a 10x to get to even here. 
another 10x to here, and another 10x to right. Yeah, another 10x to here. However, with more in circulation, it may or may not get back up to these highs, depending on how popular the game is. But just the just the <laughs> the kind of feel of yeah, if it just gets back to where I made that decision, that's a thousand x. I was able to actually buy some crates with when my staking unlocked right around here, uh, so it wasn't a total and complete loss. Um, I still have those NFTs. They're not worth very much right now, so I could have bought them much cheaper on the secondary market during the bear market, but that's how bear markets go sometimes. I'm really happy to have those items. It would have been nice to buy them cheaper, but this is why I'm buying more is because I do believe the game will be very successful and is dirt cheap. Uh, this is a fully diluted market cap if all their tokens were in circulation. Okay, 3.6 million. Now... All these 30 billion tokens, uh, a good chunk of them are burned. Not sure quite how much, but probably 1 to 3 billion of them are burned. So this fully diluted, will ne it will never reach this fully diluted. Almost all the tokens are vested. I think there's only a, a few left to vest over the next year. Not a high percentage at all. And with a fully diluted market cap of that, with the actual market cap being lower than that and the actual peak market cap being lower than that, even if there weren't any buying, buying and selling, I am quite happy with that. Um, if this just gets to, if this just gets to uh, 36 million, that's a 10. Uh, 10x if it gets to 360 million at the peak of the bull market that's 100x uh, if the game really hits it out of the park maybe into the billions thousand x would be wonderful but not holding out hopes for that but 100x i could see happening with this game uh, not financial advice that's just my view of it okay moving on oh, i'll just show you the See, this is the last year, so um, it's kind of basing out here, in my opinion. Uh, see, we had another low over here, and we are, I believe, on a, a good trajectory up. All right, moving on. Thank you for your patience and your time. Hope you found that valuable. This is... Uh, Army of Fortune coin, AFC. Let's see, let's zoom out. This is their all-time chart from about a month ago. As you can see, it's just kind of a smooth trending up. I bought this dip right here. And uh, it's kind of fun when, when one of your projects goes, um, goes into... Uh, quite a bit of profit, like 4x, 10x. Um, it's really nice to take some profits and roll in, into other projects that you believe will do well that haven't pumped yet. This one, um, of course, is not as cheap as right when it got out, but um, at a two million dollar, uh, two billion, a uh, two million dollar fully diluted market cap, um, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, circulating supply according to this is coin brain so unverified I, I, I don't know the site very well so hopefully these are accurate um, according to that all the coins are in circulation and so they, they're probably uh, like in the game treasury because you can earn these in the game so Take this with a bit of a grain of salt, the circulating supply versus the total supply, because uh, they're probably locked up in contracts that will emit them. So, don't know the tokenomics too terribly well. I didn't spend too terribly much on this, but uh, the Army of Fortune, you can take a look at some of the videos I've done on it. Uh, Chumpy Valley as well. 
Uh, I, I believe it's going to be a really hit game. The Their flagship game isn't even in closed beta yet, uh, but they're planning to release it uh, this fall. And I'm having a blast on their uh, auto battler right now. It's a very, very fast paced auto battler um, back and forth. Really cool. Check out some of my videos on it. So I think the game will do really well. Creators of Supercell, uh, which did Clash of Clans, and they're really getting the network effects going. They, they seem to be really good at that uh, side of things, along with innovation in the gameplay. So this is their play to earn uh, token. And uh, they have 3 million followers on TikTok uh, for, their, for their characters that they're going to market to uh, their uh, in-game characters that you can play in the game that they're going to market to when open beta comes next month. So this is one that I think if players get in and, um, and spend on it, uh, I believe that could be a lot higher. This is... Uh, I, I bought uh, millions of coin, but I just put um, like 500 more in so to to be able to progress to the next island without um, doing, you know, 50 more matches uh, at getting one token per match. Uh, there's other ways to gain tokens too, but oh, this is the grenade grenadier that I just got. So really happy about that. They're one of my favorite units in the game. AoE, really good, but not so good against seal targets. Their damage isn't that high um, uh, towards a single target. So, okay. So I'd lose that just just to, just to tell you the end of the story. So. This is me spending some, oh, I didn't spend any, but this is my new island, which uh, looks really cool if you've seen my other videos at the old island. And so Web2 games, I'm not willing to spend money on, especially not anymore. I've spent very little on free-to-play games because I usually just grind them out if I'm that interested in them. But Web3 games are different because you're not just throwing the money away. Uh, even if the price goes down, at least you can get something back out. And if it helps you make more coin in the game, uh, not financial advice, but usually worth spending a little bit of money on it. And I didn't spend a ton, but it, it, it's more than enough for anything I want to do in the game. Plus, I do believe the price will, will appreciate. So there's Army of Tactics. Uh, Ember Sword. I had to get me one of these. Um, wanted one of these two. Don't. Uh, I got uh, most of my liquidity tied up. I usually, I usually, um, uh, not uh, you know, maybe not the best strategy, but I usually I see opportunities and I jump on them when I see them. So uh, I usually keep very low liquidity uh, on the side. Sometimes it burns me. Sometimes it works out really well. It uh, just depends on your risk profile and strategy, but uh, this was $98 worth of ETH. So I spent on that yesterday. This is a badge. They said we have something special for our bad badge holders uh, and early supporters, So and they haven't released that yet. So I wanted to get one before that happened, and they were supposed to have a playtest in August. So I'm buying that in anticipation. Kind of wanted the silver one, kind of just for the color, honestly. But it, you also get twice as many ember tokens when, when they airdrop them to them. Uh, the mint prices of this was two hundred fifty and five hundred respectively, and uh, so this one isn't quite as cheap per mint price as this one, which makes sense. It's a nicer badge. You can also display this by your character in game. So I'm not sure I'll ever actually sell this. Uh, if I get this one, I might sell this one, in the future. So yeah, 
uh, Ember Sword. You can check out some of the videos on it. I think it's going to be one of the best games in everywhere, not just like Web3. Honorable mention, Cornucopias. Um, and, and then I'll talk a little bit about roadmaps here in just a minute. Cornucopias, Metaverse play, and uh, I really want a dome uh, to because I, I kind of want to be a game developer myself eventually, and this could be a cool way to kind of get my feet wet and build my own experience within their metaverse. Um, again, don't quite have enough liquidity right now. I'm hoping over the next month to make some profits and roll into this a little bit, which is kind of uh, where I want to go with one of, one of the things I look at is roadmaps. You look at a ton of different things to find the quality of a project, and then you look at, at roadmaps to figure out where or um, when you think certain catalysts are going to be uh, hot. Uh, you also need to watch your social medias and stuff to to see if um, to see kind of have your ear to the rail. What's what's going to be when? I do not think Cornic uh, looking at the roadmap and stuff. They have some catalysts going on this fall, but they have to do with other NFT sales and uh, and racing uh, and stuff. So I don't think they're. Uh, Builder domes, I think they might appreciate a little bit in value, but I don't think they're going to be the main focus, nor do I think they have like an overreaching, like full throttle uh, catalyst. I mean, this will be pretty cool. So that might do it. Um, their early access to their racing. Uh, so, yeah, I. I, I I think their token is fairly priced, but not not severely underpriced at this point. With a, it's in the two hundred million dollar uh, market cap range, so not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for those juicy small market cap ones. Uh, but their dome, is about one hundred seventy dollars, uh, looks really juicy. Uh, like I said, I just um, I think I have some time on it. Could be wrong on that, which would make me sad, but hopefully I can get one one day. And so I look at the roadmap and see, okay, when are the catalysts going to be? And then there's buy the rumor, sell the news events. So the, uh, and if you don't know what that is, it's where everybody's like hyped up for something to happen, something good to happen. And so they buy in anticipation of it and that pushes up the price. And then when that event happens, they're like, okay, good, yay, this happened. Uh, what am I looking forward to now? Like, wh why am I invested in it now that uh, the good thing already happened? Like, what other good thing is going to happen? Um, and it depends on the catalyst. Some catalysts uh, aren't really solo news events because it's, it's such a good catalyst that, like, people are going to spend money on the game after that. So I think these other ones have catalysts that are going to happen sooner and more violently. Uh, vol violently, I, I think that's a good word for that, volatility-wise. Uh, whereas this, I think I have a little bit more time, so I'm hoping to roll my profits in there after. Uh, yeah, so really excited for uh, where things are going, and I think this is going to be a great fall for Play to Earn. Uh, for Web3 gaming in general. Uh, gameplay mining is what I like to call play to earn uh, because you're, you're playing the game, you're mining value out of it and uh, that other people find that because if you're, if you're mining value out of it, other people find value in that and just so long as you're not tricking them into that value uh, like greater fool theory, um, then it's, it's a good thing. If you're, if you're tricking them saying yeah, this is such a great thing, but it's not going to be valuable to you because it's not going to go up any further or not going to be useful, then that's a bad thing. So uh, just so long as, as that's happening, good. Uh, that's why taking profits early is probably a good thing, earlier than you think. Um, so give, give the next person 
uh, well, twofold. One, you don't know it's going to keep going up uh, when it's getting close. And number two, uh, then it gives the next bag holder a chance to make a little money on the way up. Anyway, two cents on, uh, on a little bit of trading morality, I guess. Haven't figured it out totally myself. It's kind of sad when you uh, when you sell something that goes straight down after that. Uh, then it's like, oh, yeah, the person that bought it is probably not feeling too good. But anyway, uh, I'm I'm super excited about all this and uh, going to be playing these games. Going to be having fun and uh, going to be spending a little money on them because um, you can the value is not trapped. So. All right, thanks for watching. Freelander, out.